Alright, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honor. <clears throat> Double honor to our apostles and elders. And Shalom to the Akim out there preaching this word, truth and sincerity. And I'm just pretty much, this video is going to be like a, a update on the RFID chip. Basically showing we getting another step closer because just as you can see right here, they headed in the article identity that skin deep the intrigue of implanting the RFID chips in people and brothers know that the RFID chip is one of the the major prophecies because when that comes out that's going to hinder a lot of people from functioning in a society if they don't want to get the chip and then you know if you do take the chip you're going to receive destruction all right so I'm going to hit this article real quick and read the point hit a couple points on it so it says, what if instead of keeping important information on your phone or a card, that information was kept on a small chip implanted under your skin? Using radio frequency identification chips or tags, this way is not a new idea. Such devices are already used to track inventory and it's common for pets to have chips implanted. But now, as many as 50,000 people worldwide have decided to have them implanted in themselves for various uses, according to a report by the Wall Street Journal. Pro proponents cited by the Wall Street Journal touted the chip's simplicity and efficiency because they're implanted in a person's body, they're virtually impossible to lose. And they basically going to... They're going to hype the chip up when they push it on a, a mass scale because right now it's voluntary for people to have it. 50,000 isn't a lot of people yet. That it, it, it is a lot at the same time, but it's not a lot according to like everybody in the whole world because everyone's not using it. It's just it's slowly building up because there more, more and more people are buying into it and using it to make your life so-called simpler and easier as they say in here. Now, one person said he has multiple tags embedded in his arm. One opens his apartment door, another his office parking office's parking gate, and another contains the business contact information. Other uses floated by the Wall Street Journal include holding important medical information the way some people have necklaces or bracelets with instructions for medical personnel person or holding identifying information that airline passengers can use to board flights so that's it's just showing you basically how they're going to come present the chip all these different things you can do with it you don't you don't have to worry about losing your information you got all your everything on a chip right there you can get in there on the airport easily take flights real easy you ain't gotta more than likely you're going you won't have to skip the tsa you don't got to worry about that since you have the chip you can just get in and out uh, everywhere just by just swiping your hand. They're trying to present it like it's something good. It's the notion that RFID chips can be secure, a secure identifier that has drawn some employers' attention. Early last year, a Swedish office building gained some notoriety for offering to have employees who work in the building tagged for easier entrance and to use various office functions such as photo as a photo um, photocopier the BBC news reported so it's basically th that's the whole point of it is making everything easier for you that's that's how they're going to present it and that's basically how you see the society getting at first everybody was using the cash a lot and now they came out with the regular credit cards now they got the credit cards with the chips in there Every, now they're trying to just basically move from having physical cash to having a current um, digital currency, which is the the RFID chip. Really. Now, in in the instance, employees were given a choice in the matter, but BBC News added that the project's backers believe we're not far from the day when such tagging will be mandatory for many people. And that's where it's going to ultimately get to, to where it's mandatory for everyone to have this chip. It's not going to be optional. You're going to have to take that chip. If you want to be a so-called American, a regular person in society, to be able to function, do everything that you do now, it's going to get to a point to where it's mandatory for you to have a chip. 
Over the years, several state governments have addressed the issue of mandatory implants, and four of them are California, North Dakota, Oklahoma, and Wisconsin. They prohibit mandatory RFID chips according to the natural, National Conference of State Legislators. The, the obvious fear that comes to mind with mandatory tagging is the information accessible through the chips could fall into the wrong hands, but proponents have answers for that. But as you can see right here, that was the main point. Such tagging is going to be mandatory for many people, basically everybody. Because that's where the employers are that they're going to. Because all these, it's going to get to a point to where if you want to have a job, you got to have a chip now. <clears throat> all right. This is Revelations 13 to 16. And he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name and that's basically what you see right here it's going to get to a point to where you're not going to be able to do anything buy or sell or if do anything in this society in general unless you have that rfid chip and you just see it getting closer and closer now this article is mentioning that they pretty much is in the works of they basically just setting it up like behind the scene they're getting everything set up to and geared towards RFID chips for everybody uh, that's why you see all these different situations happening you got uh, terrorists in America you have that are citizens American citizens and whatnot and all these different si situations going on and it's going to get to a point to where they say you're gonna have to take the chip to not seem like you to not be considered a terrorist and then also you're gonna to have to have the chip to go go to work, go buy groceries, go do this and that. That's basically what you see the society going to, man. And we're just getting closer to this place being destroyed, really. When that chip come out, that doesn't mean that we're that much closer to the end of this thing. Alright. So with that I'm keep watching and you know we see it's coming soon. Really the chip is coming soon. It's like right around the corner. So with that, I'm going to give all praises again to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, double honors to our apostles and elders. Shalom to all that I came out there preaching his word in truth and sincerity. And if I see any more information coming out, I'm going to bring it out as far as like news wise. But just keep watching and we're getting closer to the end of this thing, man. Shalom.